being a strong black woman, if you are being physically, emotionally, mentally abused by someone, by a man in particular, how strong are you expected to be? Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. Get your money, sis. Get your weight up. Making money moves. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, it's all about the clean and get your money, sis. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. What's good, everybody, and welcome back to Two Cent Tuesdays with Jenny, where you will be getting my unsolicited and unapologetic opinion about what's going on in the world today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a new video. And you might as well go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up. And before I get into the topic today, I just want to thank all of you for blowing up my last video um, I did not expect that. I sound like all the content creators. Like, I didn't expect that. But I really do appreciate all of y'all supporting, including some of the haters. But I really, really do appreciate all the likes, the comments, the views. I thank y'all. Make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss these videos every Tuesday. Now, without further ado, let's get right into today's topic. The amazing, beautiful actress, singer, superstar Kiki Palmer has filed a restraining order against her ex-boyfriend, the father of her young son, Darius Jackson. Several images of the abuse have come out. Many text messages, phone calls, so much back and forth between the family is coming out. And, you know, many of us have not known Kiki Palmer to be in this type of light. This is, this is quite shocking, but at the same time, not. Because if we can remember just a few short months ago, um, right before Kiki Palmer's birthday, she attended a Usher concert in Las Vegas, and because of her outfit of choice, along with her being serenaded by Usher, her boyfriend at the time, Darius, took to social media to shame her for dressing in such a manner, knowing that she is a mom. Um, and many people thought it was weird, disrespectful, uncalled for, and we thought that things were over between the two, but... But then, on Kiki Palmer's birthday, they went live together, and they seemed to be in a better space. So I don't think anyone assumed um, that any type of abuse was taking place, but the signs, I guess, were there. And again, all of this is alleged. It's her word against his word, but at the same time, we do have images of Darius seemingly flinging her from the couch to the floor, once everything surfaced, Darius's brother, actor Serranus, I believe that's how you say his name, Serranus Jackson, took to Twitter and post and deleted this statement um, to where Kiki Palmer's mother then responded with a video stating that um, she has expressed to him about his brother's abuse and she feels like it was falling on deaf ears and no one seemed to care to do anything about his brother's abuse. And when Serranus responded, his ex, mother of his child, actress Dominique Perry, she posted a few subs on her Instagram story as well. Um, neither denying nor confirming that she was also abused. Um, more and more things are constantly coming out. And now Darius Jackson is denying these allegations. And he released a recording of Kiki Palmer's mother threatening him. Get a bullet in your motherfucker, you motherfucker. Where's my baby? You better, you better watch out. Text mess a screenshot of a text message between his mother and Kiki Palmer's mother where they are addressing the threat that she made and Kiki Palmer's mama stood on business and said, I said what I said, your son better watch it. In the restraining order, it's quite disturbing. According to Kiki Palmer, she states that Darius trespassed into my home without my knowledge or consent 
threatened me, then physically attacked me, lunging for my neck, striking me, etc., etc. It goes on. I don't want to go into the details. Also in the restraining order is a very disturbing statement, allegedly from Darius, where he basically states that he understands why animals sometimes eat their young. Now, you know, the two of them just recently have a, had a child and it, it's a very strange thing to say. Um, and when you are being physically abused by this person, one doesn't know what he means by that. And obviously you have to protect yourself and your child no matter what. Now, all of this that is coming out and happening it's really sad that there are people who are actually questioning um, whether or not Kiki Palmer deserves this abuse. Um, you know, many people are bringing up the incident with her and Usher. And, oh, did y'all see how she was behaving this, that, and the third? And, you know, we don't know. It's always two sides to the story. And how do we know she wasn't putting her hands on him? And it's just funny, you know, it reminds me of when the one time Kiki Palmer did come forward to the media about an incident that happened between her and Trey Songs. No one wanted to believe her until um, a non-black woman came forward and stated some of the same things that Kiki said. So it left me to wonder why don't we believe black women? Why don't we believe them when they say they are being abused? When they say, um, I don't feel safe. Uh, when they go to the doctors and say, I don't feel well. Or they give birth and, you know, have complaints. And those complaints fall on deaf ears because no one believes them. Why is it that no one believes black women? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'm going to go ahead and drop my two cents in on the situation. First and foremost, my thoughts and prayers go out to Kiki Palmer and her family. Um, for all parties involved, because there's an innocent child in the midst of all of this. And it just sounds like it's getting really, really bad. I think it's weird that anyone is questioning anything when there is surveillance footage of this man literally dragging her. Um, I don't know what is there to question at this point. Now, I am a firm believer there are three sides to every story. Okay? It's your perspective, my perspective, and what actually happened. So, I am just curious, like... Why is it that black women, black women's concerns often fall on deaf ears? Why is it always questionable? Is it because there are some women out here who abuse men? There are some women who swing first um, because women are, black women are dramatic. Um, black women are strong headed or, or, or strong-minded so it's like oh you can handle it you're fine you're this i'm just curious as to why are these things not taking more seriously i could be wrong but just my opinion i feel like because you know when you think about it so many women in general and many black women lose their lives in domestic violence situations because a lot of times um, people don't take it serious or they don't get as protected as they should. You know, they get a piece of paper that says, hey, restraining order, but what are you going to do? Throw it at the person when they're coming to attack you. Uh, many of women have lost their lives giving birth. When they tell their doctor, um, something doesn't feel right. Um, I'm not feeling well. I don't think this is normal. Can you check my, you know, can you check this? Can you check that? And a lot of times they're told, oh, it is normal. That's just part of, you know, giving birth and you'll be fine. And then next, you know, a child has to grow up without their mother. 
why is this happening? I believe it's this strong black woman complex that a lot of people tend to put on us. Um, and granted, we are strong. We do take a lot, but we're still humans. We still are people, regardless of the things we can endure and keep pushing. You understand? At the end of the day, our bodies bleed just like everyone else. And, you know, despite being a strong black woman, if you are being physically, emotionally, mentally abused by someone, by a man in particular, how strong are you expected to be? You need help. Someone has to help you. Someone has to get you out of this situation. When you are in the hospital trying to simply give life to a innocent child, your concerns should be taken serious. Your concerns should be heard and action should be taken. But a lot of times it doesn't because we are expected to handle it all. We are expected to take a licking and keep on ticking. And it's 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 extremely frustrating and it's sad. You know, many of us are guilty of having this complex of, well, what does she do? You understand? Instead of saying this is wrong, she needs help somebody advocate for this woman and i'm not saying everybody and this is the thing if you watching my video this far i thank you because i feel like a lot of people leave comments and they don't necessarily watch my video and they feel like i'm speaking for everyone or i'm bashing these people or this person and it, that's not what i'm here to do first of all this is just my opinion on something it ain't golden. It ain't Bible. It's how I feel. And people are going to agree and some people are going to disagree. At the end of the day, I don't speak for all black people. I don't speak for all black women. But when you see these things are constantly happening and you see there's a pattern, the facts are the facts. It's not like it's my opinion when I say we are dying during childbirth. We are dying in, in domestic violence situations. And it's easy to say, well, she shouldn't have been with him in the first place. Or well, she, sh she should have left him when he first did it. Until you are in that situation, we cannot sit there and judge and say what she could have, should have, would have did. You know, by the grace of God, I have not had to experience anything like that. But I know too many women who has. And let's be clear. An abuser don't come in being abusive. It don't just start off that way. They're going to put up a facade. They're going to portray themselves as this amazing person. And then there's that switch that comes out. And it's like, oh, sh And sometimes it's not easy for people to walk away. At that point, your emotions is in involved. A lot of time, your confidence is low. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's fear. Most of the times, these type of when you're in these type of relationships, before it gets physical, the mental abuse starts, and you know your confidence is torn down. And then on top of that, there's fear that plays a factor. If you leave this person, what's gonna happen? So there's so many things that can cross someone's mind before leaving. So when we judge and say, well, just leave, just this, just that, you should have known better. Is she not human? She's a regular, she, just because she's this huge superstar, she has emotions and feelings just like every other woman out there. And men, because there are some men who are in domestic um, situations themselves. Keep your damn hands to yourself, and that's just period. Since we're on the subject of strong black women and domestic violence and having to endure so many things and expected to keep on pushing through, I want you guys to check out my books. 
written by me, Inherited Dysfunction Part 1 and 2. It's a series. It's available on Amazon.com. I urge you guys to please, please hit the link in the description down below and support. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure y'all also follow me on all of my social media platforms. Also in the description down below. And Jenny is...